as you can see, my Tesla Fender camera got a little bit smashed, unfortunately. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to do a quick little teardown. This was off of a 2018 Model 3. Um, surprisingly, so it got hit hard, it got smashed, and this part came off. And the actual camera still worked, but it did have a little bit of issue, which I'll talk about in a second. Now, I don't believe that the camera, the Fender camera is actually serviceable. It's like glued together along the seam um, all along or like formed plastic. So maybe theoretically you could maybe cut it with a Dremel or something. Um, in this case, obviously it was smashed. So that's why we can see the inside. So we got the two screws here and here, and then there's also two that hold the this little, uh, I guess, camera piece and lens on. So I'm gonna take that apart and show it to you. So I've undone the screws and this little plastic piece, I think it extended this way, but that's where like the turn signal would light up and it just pops off. And this whole circuit board just pops out of the housing. So you can see where the the pins are here and the, the video goes here, but you just pull it right out. And this is the piece. Now I've actually seen this internal part for sale on eBay. I don't know what you'd ever want to do with it unless like if you're broke somehow and you're able to save the housing and glue it back together. But it's after it had gotten smashed, this little piece of the camera, right, point it out right here, became separated from the body and the lens. And on this piece, on the inside was a mirror. And I got some very interesting footage, which I'll cut to right now. Anyways, I ended up just super gluing this back on along here along to back to the camera and actually started working after that. It, it, the picture improved. So once the screws are undone, the lens part, this little black part pops out. One of the little tabs right here on mine broke. I don't know if you can see it. Anyways, lens assembly with the mirror back here is held on with two uh, two Phillips heads. So I'll do those real quick. All right, then we remove the little black mounting bracket. This is what you see. There's a little ribbon cable here that goes from the lens and little camera assembly to the this circuit board which I guess feeds the video in through right there. And then this is power. So anyways, I'm gonna put this back together and show you some other stuff. Oh, real quick, just so I thought you might be interested in this. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Well, anyways, right here where my index finger is, it says 12 volts. 2.2 watts and then down here it says light pipe PC let's see what it says here lens PMMA and then here which is kind of hard to see HSG PMMA so anyways, I found a replacement part on eBay, hooked it up for $70. I just matched up the part number. Um, there was one difference on the part I got in the mail. It said one plus one housing, two plus two lens. Whereas this one obviously, obviously says two plus two housing and two plus two lens. Anyways, it worked fine. I did get some error messages, but it went away after a couple days. So along here, you can see where the camera mounts to the fender. There's a clip here and here, and there's four of them total. And then on the other side, one here and one here. And basically how you remove it, there's some other YouTube videos. You undo part of the fender liner and stick your arm up and you kind of just have to feel and push on, on these tabs. 
and while you kind of push out on the fender camera assembly. Anyways, it's not too hard to get out. Just gotta finagle it a little bit. Also wanted to mention that when I first installed the replacement camera, it wasn't recording properly. It was creating these small little files that you couldn't open. But after a few days, it started working normally and everything was fine.